Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. Okay, viewers, you asked if you wanted me to do a video about fixing the amplifier, and most of you voted yes. So that is what I'm going to do. Try to fix this amplifier that I've made. Now, I have the offending circuit on the bench. I've got it hooked up to my homemade power supply. And my left microphone is buzzing for some reason. It seems to have stopped now. Anyway, the problem with this thing is, whenever it's powered up, it just puts the full DC voltage onto the speaker wire. I've got the meter connected to where the speaker would normally be connected. And when I turn the meat, um, power supply on, and as you can see, it gets the full positive DC voltage, minus the voltage drop of the transistors, of course. But this thing is supposed to be at zero, or very close to zero. And as you can see, we're reading 23.8 volts. Now, I know this is not a short circuit somewhere, because neither of the transistors get hot, they're actually stone cold. So, something has gone wrong somewhere. And I think what's happened is when I was putting the phono preamp in, although you can't actually see it, but put the box back on the phono preamp, and I think I've knocked something out in there. So, I'll try to figure out what's going on. I'm sure it's just a bad connection somewhere, but you can never tell. I tried wiggling these all these parts about, see if that fixes anything, that doesn't seem to have worked. I've looked for loose connections, everything seems to be fine. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take the other amplifier out, because I know that is working, and I'm going to compare it with this one. I'm going to have them both powered up on the same power supply, and see what happens. I've also drawn out the schematic, as you can see. And with the working circuit plugged into the power supply, I'm going to make a voltage reading of every single point on the circuit. Then I'm going to compare that with the faulty circuit, and wherever the voltage isn't right, I'll know I've found a problem. So that's what I'm going to do right now. If that doesn't work, I'm going to start drinking. So here is the working amplifier, all connected up and ready to be tested. Now when I apply power to this one, as you can see, no voltage on the meter. I've got this connected up to the speaker out, just like the other one was. And as you can see, this one is doing what it's supposed to. Now let's just measure the AC voltage at the speaker out. I'm going to put it onto 2 volt setting and touch the signal wire. And we should see a little response in the meter. Okay, there we go. Touch the signal wire, it's putting out about 670. 680 millivolts. Of course, with the proper audio signal connected, that would go much higher. We get about 40 volts out of that. So, what I've got to go and do now is test every single point on this circuit board, find out what the voltages are, mark them on this circuit diagram, which seems to, the camera seems to have zoomed in for some reason. Actually, is the camera zoomed in? No, it isn't zoomed in, so I don't know why the picture's gone so close, but the camera's exactly the same place as it was before. Anyway, that's what I've got to go and do now. I'm first going to test the collectors of the two big transistors. I might just simply touch the metal case of these. This one we have nothing. And at this one we have nothing. Let's just check the supply voltage getting in, which is connected to this pin of this transistor. Okay, we've got 24.2 volts there, so I'm going to write all those down. Nice thing about this is I'm glad the amplifier did go wrong this way, because this way I've got something I can use as a reference. Okay, I have finished testing the working amplifier, and as you can see, written down what all the voltages in the circuit should be. And unfortunately, this hasn't aided me in any way in finding the problem. However, I did find the problem, no thanks to this. This transistor here, which is this one right here, has basically gone shit pickle on me. When I tested it, 
I found that the base wasn't connected to anything at all, and the collector and the emitter seem to be shorted together, so it looks like some new transistors will be in order. For now, I've just used an ordinary PNP transistor T092 style case to replace it. Maybe not the best idea, but it doesn't seem to get hot. They probably used a BD140 because it has better amplification. Anyway, as you can see, I've got it connected up to this speaker, and I'm using the iPod as the source. I'm going to turn the power on. And that is acting normal now. Now if I just start the iPod... I can tell you one thing, it is bloody loud. Anyway... The temporary fix does seem to work, that was obviously what was wrong with it. Until I can get a new replacement BD-140, I'm still pretty much stuck. So I guess what remains now is to put the amplifier back together. That is when I get that other transistor. And I guess that's it for now, so until next time, goodbye. Well, that's just about it for this episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Remember, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe by clicking on me right now. And don't forget to tell your friends about Cool Dude Clem and his electronic workshop. Also, if you want to see the previous episode of Cool Dude Clem's electronic workshop, click on the box on the right. Anyway, that's it for this episode, so until next time...